Okay. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club, every part six. I am the Gross Kitty. Um, so last episode was very, very traumatic. Um, Sayori's gone, and from the looks of it, uh, the game is basically restarted to the point where Sayori just does not exist, and we need to kind of figure out why. Something tells me fourth wall breaker here, Monica, probably has something to do with this. Um, last episode, I also missed something. I was going through after, um, I was going through after recording and found the trace back. And in the trace back, you can see it say, oh, geez, I didn't break anything, did I? Hold on a sec, I can probably fix, the, fix this, I think. Actually, you know what? This would probably be a lot easier if I just deleted her. She's the one who's making this so difficult. Ah, uh, aha. Well, here goes nothing. Uh, and an, I'm sorry, but I caught an unex unexpected error. Um, the other thing I missed is, if you go to the load files... The other load files are just not there. They just don't exist. The entire game restarted to the point where it's just pretending that Sayori just does not exist. So I am interested to see how this turns out. So, alright, before we get started, uh, make sure to like the video and leave a comment uh, telling me what you think of the video or any games you would like to see me play in the future. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing. I upload pretty darn frequently and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. Alright, on to the video. I'm back! And I brought a guest with me. Huh? Whoa. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. A guest? Seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Don't be mean, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, gross kitty. Uh, all words escape me in this situation. This club is filled with incredibly cute girls. So, let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? What? Uh, no, I'm not. Natsuki. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. A anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual. And this is Yuri, the vice president. So wait. So definitely Sayori just does not exist in this context. Okay. It's nice to meet you. Yur Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet both of you. So, I ran into Gross Kitty in the classroom and he decided to come check out the club room. Oh yeah, that's another thing. Like, it was supposed to be Sayori that met us, but since... Sayori just does not exist from this game. It glitched out until Monica showed up. That made me rise my suspicions even more as well. Isn't that great? Oh, wait, Monica? Didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to... Well, you know. Oh, that's right. She didn't make the cupcakes. She must not have made the cupcakes this time because Sayori sa had tricked us into joining. It told her, told everyone we were joining before we even decided. So that's why Natsuki made the cupcakes. But since Sayori didn't invite and tell us that we were coming, didn't tell them we were coming, um, <sighs> then they didn't make the cupcakes. Oh, that's interesting. Sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, gross kitty? 
The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Yuri walks to the corner of the room and opens the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. So, I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow in this club before we graduate. Right, Natsuki? Well, I guess. Nox Natsuki reluctantly agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these two. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot in the middle. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated, Yuri's just trying to impress you. I'll just flat out say it, why don't you? Uh, Th that's not insulted. Yuri looks away. I mean that, you know, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, gross kitty, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh... Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway... What are you? What about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so re reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But, you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't, that, isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a lot of ho I read a horror book once. I desperately grasped something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well have been having a conversation with a rock. <laughs> I'd expect that from you, Yuri. Yuri, it suits your personality. Oh, is that so? Really? If a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Hmm, pretty darn true. Uh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looks like you were working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud. I get that back. Fine, fine. 
Natsuki, you write your own poems? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? Uh, no! Natsuki's aver Natsuki averts her eyes. You would like them. Uh, not very a confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than a just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, expose your vulnerabilities, and show even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have do you have writing experiences too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Uh, I guess it's the same for Yuri. We all sit in silence for a moment. Hey, I just got an idea. How about this? Uh? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh, um. Uh, uh. I mean, I thought it was a good, ju a good idea. Well, I think you're right, Monica. We should probably start finding activities for all of us to participate in together. I did decide to take on the responsibility of vice president, after all. I need to do my best to nurture the club as well as its members. Besides, now that we have a new member, it seems like a good step for us to take. Do you agree as well, Gross Kitty? Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh? What's that? Now that we've reached the most important topic, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and... Um... I lose my train of thought. All three girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, but... I'm sorry, I thought... <clears throat> eh? The girls exchange glances before Monica turns back to me. I guess I need to tell you the truth, Gross Kitty. The thing is, we don't have enough members yet to form an official club. We need four. And I've been trying really, really hard to find new members. And if we don't find one more before the festival... I I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? I would feel terrible for letting everyone down in this situation. Besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. So, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls... Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the litter. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Oh my goodness, really? Do you really mean that, gross kitty? Yeah. It could be fun, right? You really did scare me for a moment. I mean, if you really just left after all this, I would be super... Not saying that. Gross Kitty, I'm so happy. We can become an official club now. Thank you so much for this. You're really amazing. I'll do everything I can to give you a great time, okay? Monica, reword your sentence a little, please. Reword your sentence just a tiny bit. Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Gross Kitty, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> I yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri cleans up the tea set. I guess I'll be on my way then. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow then. I can't wait. With that, I depart the club room and make my way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the three girls. Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. 
Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have to chain the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. All right. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Oh, yeah, because he walked home with me before, huh? That's why it took so, uh, that's why it took a lot. You've unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? Uh, ha, 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 ha. Mm hmm, hmm. Mm, I feel uncomfortable. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is an amalgamation of just a whole bunch of pictures of Monica. That's what it looks like. And I'm very concerned. Ah, it switched. It flipped. It flipped when I clicked. It flipped. Uh, d d d d Sayori's person is gone now. Sayori's person is gone. Okay, so, um, since the game restarted and I want to get the most out of the gameplay, I'm actually going to go with Natsuki this time and see if I can get some more gameplay and see what happens with her. So, she should be relatively easy. Sparkle, uh, Rose, whoa, hi, uh, Dream, what, Dazzle? I said she could be easy. Cheer, pout, uh, fun, infer whoops, guess I'm doing that. Giggle, adventure, uh, vibrant, well, it's just gonna go back and forth between the two. What happens if I pick one that goes with, uh, Sayori? Oh, well, she got rain cloud. Okay. Mmm, lucky? Mmm, kitty. Um, special. Candy. Bubbles. Uh, mum, 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 amazing? Uh, beauty. Uh, sure, kiss. Okay. Hi again, gross kitty. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least kept my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last one to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. I want to see if something new is in here. There's nothing new. Can you hear me? This was just a minute ago. There's a little devil inside all of us. This is the poem, okay. Beneath their manufactured perception, their artificial reality is a writhing, twisted mess of dream, loathing, judgment, el el elitism, self-doubt, all thrashing to escape the feeble hold of their host, seeping through every little crevice they can find, into the, their willpower, starving them of all, motivation and desire into their stomach, forcing them to drown their guilt in comfort food, or into a newly opened gash in their skin, hidden only by the sleeves of a cute new shirt. Such a deplorable, tangled mass is already present in every single one of them that's why i chose not to blame myself for their actions all i did was untie the knot wow sorry i paused for a second because i was listening to the music it seemed to a it seems to be a little altered i was the last to come in so everyone else is already hanging out oh hi i saw that I saw that out of the corner of my eye. Her face glitched. Her face glitched. I saw that. Holy cow. Thanks for keeping your promise, gross kitty. My heart is racing. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making your dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. 
Okay, everything just is uh, you delete Sayori and everything's just gl glitching out. She's a little close though. Oh, come on. Like he deserves any slack. You already had to drag her and uh, dragged here by Monica. I don't That is definitely altered. The music's definitely al altered. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. She's in front of the text. She's in front of the text. Mmm. Now I'm very sure that Monica has something to do with this. I'm very sure Monica has something to do with this. Mm, let's see if I can read this to pass. Monica's very long, disturbing hair. Natsuki certainly has a big mouth for someone who keeps manga collection in the club room. Ma uh, ha, ha. Honestly, it looks like it's just all tilted. Like the the the, it looks like the club room itself is just tilted. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. I'm sorry, gross kitty. We'll make sure you to put your comfort first, okay? Yuri shoots Natsuki with a disappointed glance. Um, anyway. Now that you're in the club and all, perhaps you might have interest in picking up a book to read? Well... I can't really say no either way. Like you said, I'm in this club now. So if it only feels right for me to do something like that, if you ask. W wait. I didn't mean it like that. Ugh. If you don't really want to, then forget I said anything, I guess. Uh, no, it's not that, Yuri. I want to try to be a part of this club. So even if I don't read... Often, I'd be happy to pick up a book if you want me to. Uh, are you sure? I just feel like, well, as vice president and all, that I should help you get started on something you might like. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out her book. I didn't want to make. I didn't want you to feel left out. I am terrified of horror games. I can admit this. I am terrified of horror games. There's certain horror games where like. I might play on the channel, but I'm, like, terrified to even pick, uh, get and play. Uh, I can, I can make it through this one, though. I can do it. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'd like, I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was just waiting for the chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rum rummaging around in the closet. Ugh! I hear Natsuki utter an exasperated sigh with from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. You looking for something in there? Whoa! Effing Monica! Uh, she never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point in keeping your collection organized if someone else is just gonna ma mess it up? Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Manga. You read manga, right? Uh, sometimes. Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into until you figure out where the other person stands. How did you know, anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. 
Besides, it's kind of written on your face. What's that supposed to mean? I, I see. Actually, I can admit that I have actually read more manga. Most uh, animes, I have actually seen more of the manga than the actual anime. Um, I'm actually in the middle of watching an anime right now. I, I see. There's a lone volume of manga amidst a stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious, I pull it out of the stack. There it is! Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. Then she turns to the box of manga and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better. Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I know that feel. Gee, I actually do. I have actually a closet. I have the closet, and the top shelf is actually just filled with like two, uh, almost three rows. It's like two and a half rows of books, something like that. Meanwhile, my movies are just in this one milk crate. <laughs> Parfait Girls? Parfait Girls? It's a series I've never heard of in my life. That probably means it's either way out of my demographic, or it's simply terrible. If you're ju if you're gonna judge, you can do it through the glass on the do on that door. She points to the classroom door. H hey, I wasn't judging or anything. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, Gross Kitty. Consider this a lesson. Oh, don't judge a book. Uh -huh. In fact, Natsuki pulls out the first volume of Parfait Girls from the box. I'm going to show you exactly why. She shoves the book right into my hands. Ah. I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire striking animated feminine poses. So like a magical is 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 it kind of like a magical girl anime then? It's exceedingly mo. Don't just stand there. What? Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the window sills. She pats the ground next to her, signaling me for me for me to sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read at the same time like that. Uh, why is that? Uh, I guess it's easier to be closer, close together like this. <sighs> D don't s just say that. You'll make me feel weird about it. Natsuki crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. Sorry. Oh, sorry if I'm moving around. I have a, I have a blanket on me because it's like freezing and I've been trying to adjust it and it's, it keeps falling off every time I get scared. I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Now that I say it's a particularly bad thing, not that I can say. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I wouldn't won't notice. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Hmm? You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh, I am, but nothing really happened yet. So it can talk at the same time. It looks like it's about a bunch of friends in high school. Typically a slice of life affair. I kind of grew out of these since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. That's why I don't read those types of things. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not. Even though you're just watching me read, even though you're just watching me read, well, I'm fine with that. If you say so, I guess it's fun sharing something like with someone else. 
I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series of I enjoy. I'm waiting to be jump scared at any second right now. You know what I mean? Uh, hmm? An adorable face, though. You don't? Oh. That's not... Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Jeez. Uh, sorry. Hm. Like I could ever get my friends to read this. They just think manga is for kids. I can't even bring it up with them being all like... Well, not all manga is for kids. Because there's a lot of manga out there that is like specifically for adults. I have found most of the manga I've read is usually specifically for 14 and up or like specifically for adults. Eh? Huh? You still haven't grown out of that yet? Makes me want to punch them in the face. Ugh. I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes them a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, much less friends who aren't also into who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitated toward the other losers over time. So something about manga and anime is I actually had no clue what anime was until I was in ninth grade when my friend introduced me to, um, I think it was Helsing. It was either Helsing or Vampire Knight. No, I introduced myself to Vampire Knight for the manga, and then, um, I got introduced to Helsing and, um... I was told never to watch Soul Eater just because it li ends on a cliffhanger, and I still did. But, like, I started watching- they showed me, like, I think a music video of- for- for Helsing, like, someone made a fan-made music video, and I ended up watching the entire thing- the entire anime, like, two weeks later. <laughs> like, literally just in two days, binge-watched the entire thing. But it's probably hard, harder for someone like you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's probably accurate. Pretty accurate. Wait, which part? I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. My dad would beat the crap out of me if he found this. Hmm. Oh, well, she's. Going through some stuff at home, huh? Why is the text black and bolded? Why is it black and bolded? <sighs> at least it's safe here in the club room. Except Monica cute and kind of a jerk about it. Ugh. I just can't win, can I? Well, I paid up. Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? Uh, so? <laughs> Jeez, that's enough. Are you gonna keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I flipped the page. Mm. Um. Um. Time passes. Yeah. Natsuki is strangely quiet now. I glance over at her. Oh, she's sleeping. Oh. It looks like she's started to fall asleep. Hey, Natsuki? Y yeah? Suddenly, Natsuki collapses straight into me. H hey! Ha 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 Oh, jeez. Uh, uh, uh. Natsuki, are you okay? Uh. I have a lot of questions. And I'm sure those will be answered at some point. Uh, here. Monica reaches into her bag and pulls out some kind of protein bar. She throws it in Natsuki's direction. Natsuki's eyes suddenly light up again. She snatches the bar from the floor and immediately tears off the wrapper. Yeah, that's it. She was just hungry. What? I told you not to give... 
She doesn't even finish her sentence before stuffing it into her mouth. Don't worry, gross kitty. She's fine. It just happens every now and then. Her glitching out. Her glitching out like that is just because she's hungry. I highly doubt that. That's why I always keep a snack in my bag for her. The music's completely stopped. The music has completely stopped. Anyway, why don't we all share poems now? Oh, oh there's only three names now. We'll go with Natsuki first. I told Natsuki I was interested in her poems yesterday. It's probably only fair if I shared mine with her first. Uh, huh? Okay, well, let's start with the things I don't like. First of all, um... Natsuki rereads my poem. N never mind, I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Eh? Then what's the point of sharing in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. Uh, in fact, remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when writing this. I want to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said, Ugh. Well, I would be more careful sharing my poem if your yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, Ha, well, it's not great, but let me show you what real literature looks like. And you went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. Uh, that's the closest we're going to get into a compliment from her. Uh, so in other words, you're re saying you really liked it. Ugh. Natsuki retorts get a retort gets caught in her throat. Uh, you're so, you just you don't understand anything, do you? I already told you that you don't have to go announcing it to the world like you're all self-important. Pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that almost to myself, mostly to myself. Natsuki makes, must really hate me or something. No, 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 no. Main character. You cannot see it, can you? She's a tsundere. That is high, that is highly obvious. To anyone. I can't figure out if it's a win or a loss that liked, that she liked my poem. In any case... You still need to show me yours, right? Good. Fine, I guess. Only because Monica won't make me if I don't. Eagles and fly. Alright, so we've already read this, so I'm not going to reread it. Um, you can go back to the previous episodes if you want me to read it. But we're going to move on. Yeah. I told you that you weren't going to like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Oh, well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style would, wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it's, it hits you hard. Like this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feel in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, guess not. I decided to humor, with, humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Alright, Yuri's gonna hate the poem, but let's just go. Uh, uh. Mm. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes, more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um, 
Oh, uh, sorry. I forgot to start speaking. <laughs> uh, um, it's fine. Don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Ah, it's so it's that bad. N no! Did I just raise my voice? Uh, I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten more anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to pe new people. It's fine, I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um... Wait, Natsuki was glitching out, so I wanna... Is there anything else? Looks like there's something new in the logs. That's... That should be fine, probably, because I logged in. Never mind. I guess it was just me. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And I have been through that myself. I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter and they form, form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing, even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased, though. Biased? How? Uh, um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if it's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Okay, so yet again, I have already read this, so... Go ba you can go back to the previous video where I read these poems. I believe it was probably the first or second episode. Probably the second episode. And, um... Um... But I'm gonna skip over this because I've already read it. I I'm sorry I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't think that thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Uh... Well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. It is, though. Eh, that's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since her, it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghost theory? It's a metaphor. <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, gross kitty. Really? I must have miss, totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember that poems often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to the ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past. And soon to be left with nothing. 
That's a lot more psalm to put putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Oh boy, ow. My chair is making me uncomfortable. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Well, I'll share with Monica, the scary one. Hi, Gross Kitty. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do together, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring them up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, gross kitty. We're all little in Paris today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm, mm hmm. I like it, gross kitty. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. <laughs> oh, jeez. No, no. It kind of makes me think of something Natsuki would write. And she's a good writer, too. So take that as a compliment. <laughs> if you say so. Yep. If you're interested in Natsuki, then I'll always keep a snack on you. She'll cling to you like a puppy. <laughs> Natsuki's dad doesn't give her lunch money or leave her any food in the house, so she's in a fussy mood pretty often. Honestly, I feel like Monica knows all the problems already and is just trying to hide the fact that people are going through problems. Monica. But sometimes she just loses all of her strength and shuts down. Oh. That's terrible. That is so terrible. Like earlier. This is just a guess, but I think she's so small because her malnutrition is interfering with her adolescent growth. But hey, some guys are into petite girls too, you know. Sorry, just trying to look at the bright side. <laughs> anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims not to be good. You have nothing to say. You have nothing to say about what she just said about Natsuki. You have nothing to say. Well, that's because I, I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Again, already read this. Have I read this? I'll read it one more time because I don't think I remember this one. But he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glanced at my surroundings. But my burned eyes can no longer see color. Are they? Are there others in this room? Are they talking? Or are they simple poems on flat sheets of paper? The sound of frantic scrawling playing tricks on my ears. The room begins to crinkle, closing into me. The air I breathe dissipates before it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right there. He's right there. Swallowing my fears, I brandish my pen. I feel like I've read it, but it... I don't know. So, what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style's gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been uh, putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh... Well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. 
It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you, tr you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same point for too long, you'll just go you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Phew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for the mediocre writing abilities. I hear the music. Oh my god. I just realized Sayori's picture's back there. I'm probably gonna have to blur that out, but Sayori's picture's on the wall. Oh goodness gravy, are you kidding me? Even if the... Uh, it's probably far away enough that people wouldn't realize what's going on there. Oh god. Even if they're just being nice, there is no way my poems can stand up to their uh, to others. This is a literature club after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Monica is writing something in her notebook. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poem. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Hold on. Okay, nothing's changed. Okay. Gosh darn it. Natsuki's eyes furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Um, did you say something? It looked like it was her in her thoughts. Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Uh, thanks. Gosh darn it. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant... The language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? Uh -huh. You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um... Well, I do have a couple of suggestions. Hmm. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Monica liked it, and Gross Kitty did too. So based on that, I'd gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. <clears throat> and Gross Kitty liked my poems, too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh, I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Oh, right, they're arguing. I wonder how this is going to go, being that Sayori's not here anymore and she can't interfere. Uh, uh That's not what I... Uh, it, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Gross Kitty appreciates my advice more than he appreciates yours. Uh, how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No... If I was full of myself, I would be deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Ugh. Well, e 
I wasn't the one who's... Bob's magically grew a size bigger as soon as Gross Kitty started showing up. N Natsuki. Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. Taking out your own insecurities on others like that. You really uh, act as young as you look, Natsuki. <sighs> Me? Look who's talking. You want to be edgy. B. Edgy? Sorry, that's my lifestyle. Is too much for someone your mental age to comprehend. See? Just saying that proves my point. Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know. The music. The music. If you want to prove so anything, then stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. The screen. You think you can co counterbalance your toxic personality just by dressing and acting cute? The only cute thing about you is how hard you try. Whoa, be careful or you might cut yourself on the edge, Yuri. Oh, my bad. You already do, don't you? What do you mean by that, Natsuki? Are you kidding me? D did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the F is wrong with you in your head? Yeah, go on. Let Crow's Kitty hear everything you really think. I'm sure he'll be head over heels for you after this. Uh, uh. Suddenly, Yuri turns toward me as if she just noticed I was standing here. Crow's Kitty. Sh she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, 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 uh. No one. Yuri said less swear words. I'm going with her. Uh, Natsuki? Someone? Go back and forth? Heh, heh, heh. It's getting closer and closer. It's getting closer and closer. It's getting closer and closer. Monica. Hi. You're way too close. Uh, and you're in front of the text again. Great. Great. Great! Isn't this just wonderful? <laughs> okay, let's go on. Let's go on. Um, hey, gross kitty. Why don't we step outside for a little bit? Okay? <laughs> Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they are done yelling. <laughs> Some president I am, right? I can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes. But I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway. If this is making you want to spend less time with uh, others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. Suddenly, Natsuki runs out of the cl classroom. She's crying. She quickly runs away. Oh dear. Well, it looks like they're done. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri is rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri? I didn't mean it. I, I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Or did. Gross kitty. Please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow. How do you know? Completely. Monica, how do you know? Anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Uh... Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something, but she keeps glancing at Monica. Y you can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you and to be done. Uh, um, well, I'm vice president, so please let me take that responsibility today. It kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. I it's not that. It's not that. I just... 
I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Gross Kitty. I would it would just be embarrassing with you listening. <sighs> I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? I I'm sorry for causing trouble. But I really appreciate you understanding it. Okay, now I'm really sure Monica's the one doing this. Because she tried to- Kiri tried to kick her out, and then it skipped to the poem. Like, she didn't even give Yuri the chance to talk. Alright, well... That was... Heart racing. Um... I'm gonna end the video here. If you enjoyed the video, leave a comment before you go, letting me know how the video was and or um, any games you would like to see me play in the future and leave a like if you did like the video. Consider subscribing if you are new to the channel. I will upload pretty frequently and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any video. Um, bye. Peace off.